sweet spirit of God, feel at home in me. Oh, you feel that I love you, and I will love you forever. Sweet spirit of God Fill it home in me I affirm that I love you And I will love you forever your dwelling place in the name of jesus as you are joining online wherever you are looking in from throughout the whole world throughout the whole nation from your country from your nation let's begin to appreciate the name of the lord let's bless his holy name let's say thank you to lord in the name of jesus appreciate god for the gift of life for the enablement to be alive to see another brand new day Today is another day, prayer avalanche in the name of Jesus. It is God in the name of Jesus. The Bible says in the name of Jesus, only the living shall praise the Lord. A living dog is better than a dead lion. Let's appreciate the name of the Lord. 
Let's thank him for the gift of life because he is the giver of life. I appreciate God for the gift of life. I appreciate God for your life as a wife. I appreciate God for your husband in the name of Jesus. Husband, I appreciate God for your wife. I appreciate God for your home. I appreciate God for your marriage. I appreciate God for the children God has given unto you. I appreciate God for the work of your hand, for your health, for your career, for your ministry. Say thank you to the Lord. The Lord has been so good. He's a merciful God. He's a loving Father. Let's worship Him. Let's thank Him for what He has been doing from the day one of this prayer avalanche, day two, day three, day four. Today is day 11. Hallelujah. Day 11 of this prayer avalanche, March 23 edition. New beginning. Let's appreciate it. It can only be Him. Thank Him for grace. Thank Him for strength. Thank you for the enablement, the vigor, the vitality. Let's appreciate him for the testimony that I've been rolling in. What God has been doing, what he has started, and what he will do, he will yet do. Let's appreciate God. For so long of you, all of us have been receiving our testimony. Let's appreciate God. Let's thank him. The day 11 of this prayer avalanche, the day 11, 11 day of this month. Let's just worship him. Thank him for this ministry. Thank him for the set man. Thank you for the vision that God has given unto him. Let's appreciate God. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Say thank you to Jesus. Say sweet things unto him in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you for our home, for our marriage, for our family, over this ministry, over the set man. Father, we give you praise. We worship you. You are a merciful God. The Bible says of the mercy of the Lord that we are not consumed. Lord, we appreciate you. What can we say than to say thank you to this great and mighty loving Father? Just appreciate him. Love him. Be in his presence. In the name of Jesus. Father, we say thank you. We appreciate you for the prayer of Alan day one up to this day. And what you will yet do. And you will finish and hand you have started where well, you will finish well with us. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for the testimony. Miracles, signs and wonder, deliverances, salvation, liberation that have been given your people, oh Lord. Lord, we worship you. That it shall be permanent in the name of Jesus. And many, many, many more years to come before the end of this prayer of Alan. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have worship and giving thanks. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, eternal rock of ages, ancient of days, the I am that I am. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you. We bless your name in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for another day in the name of Jesus in your presence. Lord, we thank you for the 11 of this prayer of Allah. Thank you for bringing us into your presence once again. Father, we worship you. We appreciate you. In the name of Jesus, thank you because you are our God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have your way today in the name of Jesus. Do that which only you can do in the name of Jesus. Visit your people online today in the name of Jesus. And those that will be listening to the podcast, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, from wherever platform they are watching from, in the name of Jesus. Father, we decree, we declare, let the heaven be open over to this ministration, over to this program, over each and every one of us, over every individual, every home, every marriage, every spouse, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. And over this ministry, pray in Eagles Network, in the name of Jesus. Have your way, let the heaven be open. Come and take your place. Come and take prayer minutes. Holy Spirit, have your way. We know not what to pray for, what not to do. You are our helper. You are our teacher. You are our intercessor. You are our strengthener. You are everything to us. Come and teach us. Come and strengthen us in the place of prayer today. In the name of Jesus. Let our supplication, our prayer, our thanksgiving, our intercession, let it be acceptable unto you, O Lord God. In the name of Jesus, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Lord Jesus, come and rule and reign in our lives, in every home, every family, in our affairs, in every life of every spouse, our wife, our husband, our marriage, our family, this ministry, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let all glory, all honor, all adoration be to you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, let your word, let it locate your people, let it find expression in their life, in their home, in their marriage, in their family. Let it come especially unto us in the name of Jesus. Let your people be blessed. Let souls be won unto you. Deliverance, liberation in the name of Jesus. Healing, no Lord God, in our mind, in our spirit, in our soul, in our body, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I commit myself into your hand, O Lord. Have your way in the name of Jesus. None of me, but all of you, O Lord. Empty me, O Lord, of every 
filthiness, every humanity, every flesh, O oh Lord. And fill me with your supremacy, your power, in the name of Jesus. Grant me utterances, O oh Lord. Let your word flow freely, O oh Lord, unto your people, in the name of Jesus. Let it come expensive. Let it bless them. Let it deliver them, in the name of Jesus Christ. And let the heaven be open. Let your glory, O oh Lord, be to your holy name at the end of today's ministration. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Redeemer. Thank you for answer prayer. Thank you because you have done it in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. We welcome you all. Wherever you are watching from online today's service, today's ministration, the 11 of prayer avalanche March 2023 edition, we welcome you all in the name of Jesus. Masters, my brother, my sister, everyone, we welcome you all to this service in the name of Jesus. God bless you all in the name of Jesus Christ. And we also welcome those that are joining us online for today's ministration. We welcome you. We celebrate God's faithfulness in your life, in your home, in your marriage in the name of Jesus. As you have joined us today in the name of Jesus, you have gone to meet with the king of kings with the lord of god and i decree i declare that that god i have come to seek that i have come to visit today in the name of jesus will locate you will visit you mightily in the name of jesus today shall be your due of visitation and liberation in the mighty name of jesus christ we welcome you all in the name of jesus this is praying eagles network an online prayer ministry coming to you live from lagos state nigeria in the name of jesus with the vision of raising restoring family showing an effective prayer water in the name of jesus the minister on this platform this ministry is pastor Oreolua Ariola in the name of jesus for details for cancer for prayer for other information you can get in touch with the ministry line on plus two three four eight zero six two six eight six two double five amen you can make a direct call or on whatsapp we surely get in touch with the ministry line. God bless us all in the name of Jesus. Today is 11 prayer avalanche and Saturday that we are come to pray. Today we'll be looking at new beginning for my spouse. Can somebody say that new beginning for my spouse? If you are a wife, new beginning for your husband. And if you are a man, new beginning for your wife. As woman, as man, as wife, as husband, our mommies, our daddies, wherever we are watching from, we are logging in. We are standing in gap for our spouses today. It's a two-in-one ministration. So if you are a wife, you are interceding, you are praying for your husband. And if you are a man, our daddies, you are praying for your wife. See, pray for mommies. We need your prayer. So also we wives, pray for our husband. They need our prayer amen so that's what we are looking at the new beginning for my spouse hallelujah and indeed shall be a new beginning for our spouses our home and marriage in the mighty name of jesus christ amen praise the lord hallelujah so let's look at the scriptures that we are using to pray today amen let's take down the scriptures i hope you have our pen our paper and our bible with us hard copy bible so that we need to look at the word of god the bible the word of god works wonders and is powerful hallelujah welcome you all. god bless you in the name of jesus ephesians 5 verse 21 to 31 first scripture ephesians 5 verse 21 to 31 ephesians 5 verse 21 to 31 again Proverbs 31, verse 11 to 12. Hallelujah. Proverbs 31, verse 11 to 12. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Isaiah 60, verse 1. Amen. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. Genesis 25, verse 21. Genesis 25, verse 21. Genesis 3, verse 16. Genesis 3, verse 16. 
Isaiah 8 verse 10 Isaiah 8 verse 10 Proverb 18 verse 22 Proverb 18 verse 22 Amen So let's look at some of the scriptures that we have and see what God says about it in the bible relating to our spouses hallelujah let's look at the first one ephesians 5 verse 21 to 31 amen ephesians 5 verse 21 to 31 and i read from Jim james version submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of god 22 wives submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the lord 23 for the husband is the head of the wife even as christ is the head of the church church and he is the savior of the body 24 therefore as the church is subject unto christ so let the wives be their own husbands in everything 25. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. 26. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. 27. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spots or wrinkle or any such thing but that it should be holy and without blemish 28 so ought men to love their wives as their own bodies he that loveth his wife loveth himself 29 for no man ever yet hated his own flesh but nourisheth and cherisheth it even as the lord the church 38 for we are members of his body of his flesh and of his bones 31 for this curse shall a man leave his father and mother and shall be joined unto his wife amen oh sorry and shall be joined unto his wife and they too shall be one flesh hallelujah Praise the Lord. Amen. So that's the word of God in the book of Ephesians. Admonishing the wife, the woman, the husband, the man in the name of Jesus. So let's look at the second one. Proverbs 31 verse 11 to 12. Proverbs 31 verse 11 to 12. Proverbs 31 verse 11. I read. The heart of a husband doth safely trust in her. That's talking about the virtuous woman from the book of Proverbs. The heart of a husband doth safely trust in her, so that he shall have no need of spoil. Twelve, she will do him good and not evil all the days of her life. Amen. Talking about we women and wife concerning our spouses our husband and also you can also look that in proverbs 12 verse 4 same proverb but 12 you know to complement that proverb 12 verse 4 and it says a virtuous woman the same thing 31 verse 12 verse 4 it's talking about a virtuous woman and i hope every woman every online is a virtuous woman so he said, verse 4, 12, verse 4, a virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. A virtuous woman is a crown to her husband. Amen? That's part A of it. Amen. So let's look at the next one also. Genesis 25, 21. Genesis 25, 21. Hallelujah. Genesis 25, verse 21 amen i read and isaac entreated the lord for his wife 
because she was barren and the Lord was entreated of him and Rebekah his wife born six that's talking about Isaac the husband he stood in gap and prayed for his wife for the wife was barren for God to visit the wife so husband we need to pray for our wives too not only wife praying for the husband so that's why we are taking the two together today as a man you pray for your wife as a woman you pray for your husband amen so men our husband pray for us also today amen and also that also can be complimented genesis 31 verse 32 genesis 31 verse 32 also talking about men too to pray for their wife and he said and laban went into jacob's tent sorry 32 with whomsoever thou findest thy god let him not live before our brethren design thou what is thine with me and take it to thee for jacob knew not that rachel had stolen them that's talking about you know jacob when he was leaving the house of laban and his wife took the gods together with him so that one was he, he unknowingly he said it and he did not know that the wife was the one that took the god of the father and he negatively you know proclaimed a word and it very actually happened so that is in essence men you have authority over your spouse as the wife as the head so god bless us you know we use it in the place of prayer and you know negatively that's what we are saying that one was the authority that the man has is what i'm trying to say over but he did not know that it was his wife so the authority that he has in the place of prayer you know and the thing eventually happened so in the name of jesus that will not be our portion in jesus name. so we always pray positively but our husband you have the right and the authority over our wives to pray for you that is it so we also look at the last one Proverb 18 verse 22 Proverb 18 verse 22 Proverb 18 verse 22 And I read Whosoever findeth a wife Findeth a good thing Hallelujah Whosoever findeth a wife Findeth a good thing and obtain a favor of the Lord. Amen. So our daddies, whoever so find it a wife, you find a mommy, you find it a wife, that beautiful baby in your eyes. The Bible says that you obtain it, find it a good thing. So ma sa that wife, your home, a good thing of the Lord that you have obtained for having your spouses, your wife, your husband together with you. And also the Bible says obtain a favor of the Lord. So as a man, as a woman, as a husband, as a husband, as a wife, we have obtained favor from the Lord God by being together, by finding ourselves. And that's why we have come to the place of prayer to pray for ourselves. And we also remember in the book of Matthew that we said, he said, the two have become one, not two again. We have become one flesh. So that is it. Your husband is you. Your wife is also you. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's begin to appreciate the name of the Lord. Let's bless his holy name. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray. As mommies, as daddies, our husband, our wife. If you are a wife, pray for your husband. Like I've said, if you are a husband, pray for your wife. Our mommies, our daddies, open your mouth and pray. Begin to thank God for your wife. As we have seen in the book of 18, Proverbs 18, verse 22. Whosoever find it a wife, find it a good thing and obtain no favor from the Lord. For you having your spouses, your wife, you have a good thing. Obtain favor from the Lord. For you having your spouses, your husband, you are finally the good thing you have obtained. So begin to appreciate God for his word in the name of Jesus. Thank God for the life of your spouse, for that woman, for that man, for the mother of your children. Appreciate God for your husband in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and thank God for your husband, for your wife in the name of Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord. Say thank you to Jesus. Mention his name. Say I thank you Lord for my husband. For giving him to me. Lord, I worship you. I appreciate you. Thank God. Open your mouth. It's a good thing. And you have obtained favor from the Lord. Father, we worship you. 
We appreciate you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for the spouse that you have given unto me for my husband. Lord, I bless your name. I appreciate you. You are a good God. You are a merciful Father. Blessed be your name. Thank you for our marriage. Thank you for our union in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for bringing us together. Blessed be your name. We worship you, Lord. We appreciate you in the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen. Before we go on, you know, we have come to the place of prayer. As a wife, if your spouse, your husband is with you, better the two of you will be able to pray for yourself together. As you are praying for him, he also is praying for you. But by adventure, as a wife or as a husband, whichever way, and your partner, your spouse is not with you. We have learned on this platform the two means that we can pray. Bring his picture, you pray on his picture, or you took it in his shirt, his shoes, anything that belongs to his possession to pray for him to stand as a point of contact for your spouses to pray and if you are together wonderful that is glorious so you look into the eyes of your spouse your husband look into the eyes of wife the wife looking into, and the two of you begin to pray together and decree and declare so the next one let's begin to bring repentance unto the lord concerning your wife as a man bring repentance unto the lord for your wife for every form of ungodliness every form of sin in her life in the name of Jesus, and as a wife, as a mommy, our mommies, bring repentance unto the Lord for your spouse, for your husband, for every ungodliness, every filthiness, every iniquity, every sin in his heart. In any way he has offended God, in any way he has annoyed God, anything that will want to hinder the move of God in your lives as husband and as wife today in the name of Jesus and even concerning your union, concerning your marriage, concerning your marital life, intercede for your spouses, stand in God for your spouses today in the name of Jesus and bring repentance unto the Lord in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus that we are sorry in the name of Jesus concerning our spouses, O oh Lord. In any way, O oh Lord, we have offended you, we have annoyed you, iniquity, sin, anger, malice in our heart. Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. I bring repentance unto you concerning my husband. Lord, forgive him in the name of Jesus. Forgive every member, O oh Lord, no oh Lord, as wife, as husband, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we are sorry in the name of Jesus. Begin to ask for the mercy of God for your spouses in the name of Jesus. Lord, I ask for your mercy over my spouse, over my husband, O oh Lord, I rely in the name of Jesus. Lord, let your mercy speak for him. Let your mercy locate him. Open your mouth and begin to say your own. And begin, I'm saying my own. Mention the name of your husband. Mention the name of your wife. And begin to ask for your mercy for your spouses. In the name of Jesus, Lord, have mercy. Let your mercy locate him. In the name of Jesus. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Mercy, O oh Lord. Oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. Begin to plead the blood of Jesus over the life of your spouses in the name of jesus as wife play the blood of jesus over your husband as husband play the blood of jesus over your wife in the name of jesus the blood of jesus over the life of my husband or oh, will you rely in the name of jesus the blood the blood the blood the blood the blood of jesus the blood that speak a better thing than the blood of baby the blood of redemption the blood of atonement the blood of liberation in the name of jesus christ the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus the blood of jesus over over to this ministration in the name of Jesus, individually as spouses in the name of Jesus, and corporately together we come in unity, both husband and wife. We hold our hands together and join forces together. The Bible said that one shall chase a thousand, two shall chase ten thousand. So if you are together, hold your hand and begin to pray in the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus over our spouses in the name of Jesus, the blood of liberation in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the blood flow. Over to this ministration, over to this intercession, over to this prayer in the name of Jesus. Over this ministry, oh Lord, over every member watching online, individually, corporately, as a family, as a ministry, in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Begin to declare open heaven over your spouses in the name of Jesus. Let the heaven over your spouses be open today for answer prayer for testimony in the name of Jesus. Open heaven, oh Lord, over even your own life as, as, as an individual and over your spouse in the name of Jesus. Let the heaven be open over my life today in the name of Jesus, over each and every member, over my spouse, over my husband, over today's ministration. Open heaven, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, have your Holy Spirit, have your way, take control, rule and reign in the name of Jesus Christ. Let your name be praised, let your name be glorified. Thank you, mighty Father, because you said, O oh Lord, while we are yet seeking, you have answered. Before we are praying, before we call, you have heard us, O oh Lord. Lord, have your way. That which you will do, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. 
Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's go into the times of prayer. We are looking at the first scripture from the book of Psalm 11, verse 3. Taking the first prayer, Psalm 11, verse 3. Hallelujah. Psalm 11, verse 3, our first prayer point. And I read, and it says, If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? Asking question. If the foundation be destroyed, what can the righteous do? The righteous can pray. You and I, we can pray. As spouses, we can pray. As wife, you can pray for your husband. As husband, you can pray for your wife. You can intercede. That is it. So we take the first prayer point. You see, blood of Jesus visit the foundation of my spouse as woman mention your husband name as man as man mention your wife name blood of jesus this is the foundation of my spouse my husband i'm saying to myself lose him or her from every hold over his or her life destiny career marriage anything health finances cleanse him or her in the name of jesus i hope we understand the way you have framed it, you know, as you relate, whether you are a woman or whether you are a man, okay? So I'll take it again. Blood of Jesus, this is the foundation of my spouse. Lose him or her from every hold over his or her life, destiny, career, marriage, finances, whatsoever you can slot in and cleanse him or her. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus blood of jesus they set the foundation of my spouse in the name of jesus lose him or her from every hole over his life over her life over her destiny her career her ministry her work her finances his marriage his calling his destiny his ministry and cleanse him or her in the name of jesus christ open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of jesus and pray for myself in the name of jesus Blood of Jesus, they say the foundation of my spouse, my husband, or in the name of Jesus, lose him all up from every hold over his life, his destiny, his career, his ministry, his calling, his finance. In the name of Jesus Christ, cleanse him all up by the blood. In the name of Jesus, we see this foundation, we see this foundation, we see this foundation in the name of Jesus and lose him all up from every hold over his life, over his ministry, over praying in goods network, over praying in goods academy, over his health, his career, his finances, in the name of Jesus, and cleanse him all up by the blood of Jesus. Cleanse him 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 by the blood of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Oh, we understood that prayer and we pray properly, you know, like I said. Amen. So we take the next prayer point. We are looking at that from Isaiah 49, verse 24 to 26. Isaiah 49, 24 to 26. Isaiah 49, 24 to 26. And I read, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? Asking question. 25. But thus said the Lord, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I, thus said the Lord, we contend with him that contended with thee, with your husband, with your wife, and I will save the children. God will save our children, the product, the union, the fruit of that marriage, in the name of Jesus. 26. And I, God talking, will feed them that oppress thee oppress you as a wife as a woman oppress you as husband as father with their own flesh those that are oppressing you with their own flesh and it shall be drunken with their own blood as we sweet wine and all flesh shall know that i the lord am thy savior and thy redeemer 
the mighty one of Jacob. Hallelujah. That's where we are taking our next prayer point for. And we are saying, every collective covenant, captivity, one by one, I hope you are noticing it. Every collective covenant, captivity, bondage, and evil pattern from my spouse's family, affecting his or her life, ministry, career, finance, marriage, work, health. I command you to break and lose your hold upon him, upon her, by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Every collective covenant, every collective captivity, every collective bondage, and evil pattern from my spouse's family, affecting his life, affecting her life, her work, her career, her ministry, his finance, his marriage, his health, in the name of Jesus, I command you that covenant, that captivity, that bondage, to break and lose your hold over my spouses in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray and begin to declare and begin to declare over your spouses, over your wife, over your husband. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Begin to open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every collective covenant, every collective captivity. The thing there is you have captivity, you have bondage. They are two different things. They mean different meaning. Captivity, when a man or a woman, you know, is held, you know, slavery, and the person does not know, is not in control of him or herself, and what is happening around him. That's captivity. Not to talk of being delivered or liberated. That's captivity. The person involved does not even know. That's why you see some men or women, when they are held bonded, and they'll tell them that what you are doing is no good. Come over to the house. They'll be like, what are you saying? The bondage is when a man or a woman is in slavery, but the person knows that he is in bondage, he has problem. There's a cross upon his life, and he wants to be delivered. So that's bondage. He wants to be delivered. But, you know, in some instances, where the person is in bondage wants to be delivered, some also might not be want to deliver. Or some might go to places, wrong places, for deliverance, seeking for deliverance. So that's what we are saying. In any way, our spouses, our husband, our wife, is in any form of this collective covenant. Collective captivity, collective bondage, collective evil family pattern. In the name of Jesus, affecting his spouses, in the name of Jesus, affecting his life, his home, his marriage, his calling, his ministry. I command you that covenant, that captivity, that bondage to break and lose your hold over my husband. In the name of Jesus, break and lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus, according to the word of the Lord, that even the captive of the mighty shall be set free, shall be delivered. I stand upon the wall. The Bible says, one that changed a thousand, two that changed ten thousand. I hold my hand in agreement. I join forces with my spouse, with my husband. In the name of Jesus, every collective covenant, every collective activity, every collective bondage, every family pattern, over my spouse, over my husband, in the name of Jesus, I command you to break and lose your hold upon his life, upon his destiny, upon praying in good nature, upon his health, his finances. In the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. I am praying my own. Open your mouth and pray your own. In the name of Jesus, break and lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus, be delivered. Be liberated. In the name of Jesus. From every collective activity, every bondage, every covenant, every family pattern, over your life, your calling, your ministry, be break and lose your hold. In the name of Jesus, break and lose your hold. 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 By fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I hope you are choosing justice to that prayer. You and your spouses. If your spouses is not there, like you have said, you have his picture. Put this picture in your hand and be looking at it and be praying. Eh? Or even his shirt or shoes, anything that represents your spouses. Please don't joke with this prayer. This is prayer avalanche. What it is time to new beginning for my spouses. It must be a new beginning for your spouse. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We look at the next one. Every causes from the foundation or background of my spouse that is causing limitation setback, stagnation, delay in his 
your life, career, ministry, work, finances, job. In the name of Jesus, marriage be broken. In the name of Jesus, be broken and be destroyed. In the name of Jesus, causes in the name of Jesus, let it be broken and let it be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every causes from the foundation or background of my spouse that is causing limitation, setback, stagnation, delay, obstruction in his or her life, marriage, career, finances, health, in the name of Jesus Christ, our marriage, our union, in the name of Jesus, be broken, be destroyed, 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 be destroyed. in the name of Jesus Christ, heavy causes from the foundation and the background of my spouse, my husband, in the name of Jesus Christ, causing delay, causing limitation, causing setback, over his calling, over his ministry, over praying Nugu's network, over praying Nugu's academy, his health, his marriage, his finances, in the name of Jesus Christ, break and lose your hold, break and lose your hold, break and be destroyed, in the name of Jesus, break and be destroyed, break and be destroyed, in the name of Jesus, be broken, be destroyed, be broken, be destroyed, be broken, be destroyed, be broken, be destroyed, by fire. In the name of Jesus, be broken and be destroyed. In the mighty name of Jesus, be broken, be destroyed, be broken, be destroyed. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Hallelujah. We look at the next one. Every power that makes men or women to fall from my spouses, father's house, mother's house. In the name of Jesus, I resist, I renounce over your, over my spouses in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that make men or women to fall from my, from your spouse's foundation, from the mother's side, from the father's side, over your life, over your spouses, you resist this, you renounce it. That's what we are saying in the name of Jesus. Let's open our mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power that makes men or women to fall from my spouse's family, from the paternal side, from the maternal side, in the name of Jesus, over my spouse, I resist you, I overcome you. In the name of Jesus, I resist you, I overcome you. In the name of Jesus, I resist you, I renounce you, I overcome you. In the mighty name of Jesus, I resist you, I renounce you, I overcome you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. We look at the next one. My spouse's life, destiny, work, career, slot everything inside, will not be manipulated in the name of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray. In the name of Jesus, your spouses, my spouses, life and destiny, work, career, finances, health, marriage, will not be manipulated. In the name of Jesus, will not be manipulated. Will not be manipulated. In the name of Jesus, will not be manipulated. In the name of Jesus, my spouse's life. Oh, you are allow my husband. In the name of Jesus, your life, your destiny, your work, your ministry. Pray in Ugu's network. Pray in Ugu's academy. Pray in Ugu's television. Pray in Ugu's radio. Will not be manipulated. In the name of Jesus Christ, will not be manipulated. Will not be manipulated. Will not be manipulated. In the name of Jesus, will not be manipulated. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Master, I hope we are praying. I hope you are digging the prayer in the name of Jesus for your husband, for your wife. As women, you know our responsibility, your first call and duty is to intercede for that man, for that man to fulfill life and purpose and destiny. So, although husband, our daddies, you are spiritual, you are the priest in the home, in the family. So, you have spiritual responsibility and authority over us as we, your wife, to pray for us. So, the two join hands together. Amen. We look at the next one. Every conspiracy against my spouse, as a man, as a woman, my husband, my wife, and family, and marriage will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin and decree and declare. For your wife, for your husband, in the name of Jesus, every evil conspiracy against your husband, his job, his career, his finance, his health, every evil conspiracy against your wife, her career, her finance, her health, her marriage, the work of your hand will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, will not prosper. 
will not prosper, will not prosper, will not prosper, will not stand. In the name of Jesus Christ, every conspiracy, every evil conspiracy against my husband, Orolu Arola, your calling, your ministry, praying in Google's network, praying in Google's academy, all the people that are watching online. In the name of Jesus, the vision that God has given unto you will not prosper. In the name of Jesus, will not prosper. Will not prosper, will not prosper, will not prosper, will not stand, will not come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We are still praying. We look at the next one. Father Lord, release, separate my spouse from the pit of strange woman or man in the name of jesus i hope we get that if you are a man you know separate my spouse your wife from the pit of strange man and if you are a husband separate your wife from the oh, if you are a woman separate your husband from the pit of strange woman so the two i take it again father lord release there must be release and separate eh the two of them they should scatter the, you know, as spouse, you better your wife, better or a woman, from strange man, from strange woman. Come and release them and separate them. Like light like, two together, they will not come together again. That's what we are saying as women, you know. Father Lord, release, separate my spouse, my husband, from the pit of strange my woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, open your mouth and begin to pray. Father Lord, release. Separate my spouse, my husband, from the pit of any strange woman. In the name of Jesus, separate him by fire. Separate him by fire. Separate him by fire. In the name of Jesus, Lord God Almighty, release and separate my husband, or from the pit of strange woman. In the name of Jesus, release and separate him. Release and separate him. Release and separate him by your fire. In the name of Jesus, release and separate him. Release and separate him. Release and separate him. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Look at the next one. Today is prayer, you know, warfare. Our lives must be good. Our spouse's life must be good. We as women, we must enjoy our marriage. We must enjoy our spouses, our husband. Also our husband, we must enjoy your wife. Today is prayer. Hallelujah. The crown on my head. This one will take it in two ways. We first of all pray it personally as individually for your wife, for your life. Whether you are a woman, you first of all pray for yourself. Eh? Whether you are a man, first of all pray for yourself before we now interchange and pray for our spouses. That is the way we will take it. The crown on my head. When I even mean crown, this is what I'm saying. Crown, you know. It can be you no know, crown. We, uh, uh, we all have crown. You know, like a coin, we have crown. But it comes in two ways. I must explain. Crown physically as a normal crown. Then also, the Bible makes us to know that our husband is our crown. So let's not forget it. Crown physically, we have crown. Our marriage have crown. Our finances have crown. Your life, we have crown. Then also, our spouses is our crown. Alright? So the crown on my head will not fall. In the name of Jesus Christ, as individually you are praying for yourself. Hold your head though, as woman, as man. This one is for your own life personally. That the crown on my head will not fall. In the name of Jesus. I do rimyo nishibo, no ruka jesu. The crown on my head, crown on my marriage, crown on my calling, my ministry will not fall. In the name of Jesus, it will not fall. It will not fall. It will not fall. It will not fall. In the name of Jesus. The crown of my marriage, the crown of my health, the crown of my work, the crown of my career, the crown of my ministry, the crown of my business, the crown of my life, my destiny, my glory will not fall in the name of Jesus. Will not fall. Will not fall. Will not fall. I don't remove. Hold your hand, especially we women. Hold your head in the name of Jesus. Will not fall. Will not fall. In the name of Jesus, my crown will not fall. I don't remember your nishabo. In the name of Jesus, the crown of my marriage, the crown of my husband, the crown of my junior, the crown of my finances, my health, my ministry will not fall. 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 In the name of Jesus, Amen. Now we go. We are using our husband. Our husband is our crown. 
So that's the next one we are praying. We are also praying as individual. The first one, you are praying for the crown of your own head that concerns every aspect. Then also now you hold your head as women, that the crown of your head, which is your husband. And as husband, you hold your head, the crown, also, you know, your wife will not fall in the name of Jesus. When you're talking about dreams, in the name of Jesus, our, our connector has made God to know that when you have some certain particular dreams, which means the meaning. As a man, as a woman, when you dream that the roof over your house, you know, blew, uh, uh, wind blew it off and rain was falling inside your house, that is your crown, your husband or your wife that, you know, talking about in that dream, the roof over your head in that dream. He's talking about your spouses. So if you don't pray, when you have that dream, God will not allow evil to happen in the name of Jesus. So let's pray that my head, my crown, the crown of my head will not fall. In the name of Jesus, the crown of my head will not fall. In the name of Jesus, the crown of my head will not fall. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now you say my spouse's life, my spouse's life will not be cut short suddenly in the name of Jesus. My spouse's life will not be cut short suddenly. In the name of Jesus, my spouse's life. Or your life will not be cut short suddenly. In the name of Jesus. His glory will not be cut short suddenly. In the name of Jesus Christ. My spouse's life will not be cut short suddenly. In the name of Jesus. No evil shall befall him in the name of Jesus. He will grow old as a shock of concomment in his season. According to the word of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. No death, no sickness, no infirmity. Who cut his life short suddenly in the name of Jesus? He will not be granted, he will not be crippled by sickness in the name of Jesus. His glory will not be exposed. The crown of my head will not fall in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Masekelebo In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Amen. <coughs> We are still praying. Father Lord, align my vision, whether you are a wife or a woman, align my vision and destiny in life with that of my spouses in the name of Jesus. Most especially a man, because the man is the head of the home and based on biblical standard and principle. Like we have said, a, a man either finding a wife, finding a good thing, and obtaining favor from the Lord. And the Bible says that two shall become one. You know, is the man that is, you know, the head of the home based on the Bible. So, the man, you, our, our vision and our purpose as a wife must be in alignment with that of our husband. Because our husband is the head of the home. He's the God that has placed him the head. Like Jesus Christ is the head of the church. And he has spiritual authority over us. So when you look at it, yes, individually you have your vision in life, but coming together as spouses in union, in marriage, together becoming one, there must be alignment in your vision and your purpose with that of your spouses, your husband being the head in the name of you. The two, you two of you must work together, the same decision, the same ideas, you know, everything. So that's what we are saying for the purpose of God to be fulfilled in your life, in your home, your marriage, your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we say, Father Lord, align my vision and my destiny with that of my spouses. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray and declare and declare. In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, align my vision and purpose in life. And my destiny, O Lord, with that of my spouses, my husband, or Lord, are in the name of Jesus Christ. Align my vision and purpose with that of my spouse, my husband, or Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of Jesus we take the next one from the book of Proverbs 18, verse 22, which we have read. That whosoever finds a wife, finds a good thing, and obtain a favor from the Lord. Let's open our mouth and begin to decree in the name of Jesus. Father Lord, release your favor upon my spouse and his or her endeavors in life. In the name of Jesus Christ, our mommies, please open your mouth and pray. That is what the God of the Lord says. When that man, when that was that, he find you, you obtain, he find a good thing and obtain a favor from the Lord. That will not be contrary to our lives. So let us open your mouth and pray. Daddy, also pray for your wife in the name of Jesus. That God, because my husband has found me, Lord, let he has found a good thing. Your favor, oh Lord, let it come upon him. 
In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, Lord, release your favor upon my spouse, my husband, Orolu Arola, my husband I have given unto me because he has findeth me, O Lord. Lord, your favor, let it come upon him, upon all his endeavors, his life, his destiny, ministry, praying, his network, praying that me, all the people that are connected to this ministry that are watching online. In the name of Jesus, in this prayer, avalanche, O Lord, favor of God, favor of God, favor of God. Favor of God, 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 in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points to go. The second to the last one. Amen. <clears throat> Isaiah 60 verse 1. Let's look at it from Isaiah 60 verse 1. Hallelujah. Prayer is sweet, oh. Is it not sweet? <laughs> prayer is sweet. When you dig the word in the mortar of prayer, you see testimony, miracle signs and wonder. And that's what God Almighty will do by the end of today's service in the name of Jesus. Prayer of Alan Day 11. New beginning for my spouses in Jesus' name. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Arise, shine, for the light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Amen. You will now pray for your spouses. You will be a prophet eh, and a pastor to your spouse, to your wife, to your husband. This word of the Lord, you will start decreeing it. You will start praying it for your spouses. You question his name or her name. Don't forget. Mention your wife's name or mention your husband's name. Oh yeah, and begin to open your mouth based on this scripture. Arise and shine. For your light has come in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Begin to open your mouth and pray your own. I am praying my own in the name of Jesus. Based on the word of God in Isaiah 60 verse 1. In the name of Jesus, arise, shine. For the, for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Arise, shine. For your light has come. In the name of Jesus, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Upon praying you good network, upon praying you good academy, in the name of Jesus, praying you good network, arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, Christ, praying you good academy, arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, praying you good online radio, arise and shine. For your light is come, for the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. In the name of Jesus, praying you good television, arise and shine. For the light of God is come upon you, and the glory of the Lord is risen. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray and decree and declare. Into the love of your spouses in the name of Jesus Christ. Let our spouses arise and shine. His calling, his ministry, their business, their career, their finances, their health, everything that pertains to your spouses, to your wife, to your husband. Call it forth to arise, to shine. For the light has come. The light of your wife has come. The light of your husband has come in the name of Jesus. And the glory of the Lord is raising upon your wife, upon your husband, upon your home, upon your marriage, your career, your calling, upon your union, upon your marriage, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus. Father, we worship you, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Look at the next one. Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. This one, we are praying for our spouses. You are decreeing, you are declaring, you are prophesying, you are blessing your spouses. We did many prayers that we are taking. You are blessing your husband, your forces, in the name of Jesus, from the depth of your heart and according to the word of the Lord. And you see testimonies and wonders in Jesus' name, a new beginning in the name of Jesus. Isaiah 45, verse 1. You put your husband's name or your wife's name there. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, Orolu, Arola, my husband. You know, there's Cyrus there. Your name is this Cyrus, or your wife's name is this Cyrus. So you put your husband or your, your wife there. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, Orolu Arola, whose right hand God has withhold him. Let me read according to the word, okay? There is not, you know, anyone. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, Orolu Arola, you can put that one, your husband's name, your wife's name, whose right hand I have holding to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of kings to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gate shall not be shut. Verse 2 I will go before thee, thus said the Lord, and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. 
verse 3. And I will give thee the treasure of darkness and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which called thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. So you change it, you, so, you do it to suit yourself, your husband and your wife, your situation. So let's pray, open your mouth. You dig it according to the word, one by one. Let me show you. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, my husband. Begin to open your mouth and begin to pray. Thus said the Lord to his anointed, my husband, Oriolu Arola, in the name of Jesus, whose right hand God have holding, in the name of Jesus, to subdue nations before him, in the name of Jesus Christ, and will lose the glories of and will lose the loins of kings, in the name of Jesus, throughout the whole world, throughout the whole continent, in the name of Jesus Christ. And to open before him the two leaf gates in the name of Jesus, in the north, in the south, in the east, in the west, throughout the whole world, throughout the whole continent, in the name of Jesus, gates of prosperity, gates of liberty, gates of settlement, gates of international door, in the name of Jesus, and the gate shall not be shut, day nor night, in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of Jesus, the Lord will go before you, Orolu Arola, my husband, in the name of Jesus, in every of your ways, your agenda, your plan, your purpose, in the name of Jesus Christ, and make the crooked places straight for you. Your part in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord will break in pieces the gates of brass for you. Or you are Allah, praying you good network, praying you good academy, all the online people in the name of Jesus, those that are connected to this ministry, those that are watching online, those that are praying, those that are listening to the podcast, your spouses, your husband, your wife, in the name of Jesus, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, and the Lord will give you praying eagles network. In the name of Jesus, all the people online, all the Allah, the treasures of darkness. In the name of Jesus, and the hidden riches of the secret places. In the mighty name of Jesus, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, that all the Allah, praying eagles network. All of you connected to this ministry, your spouses, your husband, your wife, your career, your calling, your ministry. Those that are watching live. Those that are listening to the podcast, those that will be watching later, in the name of Jesus, that you and I, and all of us may know that the Lord, which called which called this ministry, Penny Goose Network, each and every one of us, by our name, you have a name, God knows you by your name, in the name of Jesus, even the God of Israel is our God, in the name of Jesus Christ. So shall it be, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we worship you. We appreciate you. We bless your holy name in the name of Jesus. Be magnified. Be thou exalted. Blessed be your name, O Lord God, in the name of Jesus. To you be the glory. To you be the honor. To you be the adoration in the name of Jesus. Begin to appreciate God for today's prayer, for today's intercession over your spouses, over your wife, over your husband. Because God has heard you. Because God has answered us. Because it's a new beginning for our spouses in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, I will not forget. In the name of Jesus, because God has said it, and I was preparing for this message. God was saying, He said today. You know, when I look at it, He said today is a new, you know, marital dedication. That's what God said about today's so praying for our spouses. The marital dedication, new marital union. In the name of Jesus, a new beginning for our spouses as a wife, as a husband. In the name of Jesus, as my people will say, it, let me say it in my dialect because I heard it. He said, "Two midday, two midday, or call me two million." That is what God wants to do. You know, we started last week. We pray for our marriage, and we say new beginning in our marriage. And today we are praying for our spouses. We come together to make a marriage, to make a home. Next week is another topic. I appreciate God for the life of the set man. Before this prayer of Allah, he gave the topic. And I know that he heard God. And that was what God was saying to me today. And last week was marriage. Today is our spouse's new beginning. Marital reunion. Marital dedication. To me, be in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's just begin to worship God. Let's appreciate him. It's a new dawn. A new era of a new beginning. Pay your avalanche 11. For your home, for your marriage, for your husband, for your spouses. In the name of Jesus. For all of you, you women. That you have been battered. That you have been bruised. Your husband is misbehaving. It's as if he's under manipulation. As you have interceded that you have prayed for him. God is losing him. God is setting him free. Even for your wife too. It's a new dawn. A new beginning. Your business, your work your hands begin to prosper in the name of jesus christ 
Just begin to appreciate God. Begin to bless your home. Bless your husband. Bless your husband. Bless your wife. And soon they fuck on you and you're burning. Lord, look at Jesus. Pray for your husband. Husband, pray for your wife. Bless your wife from the depth of your heart in the name of Jesus. According to your covenant on that marital vow, that marital altar, the day you got married in the name of Jesus is a new day, a new reunion, a rededication of your marriage, of your home, of your vows, of your token that you have committed to each other in the name of Jesus. Pray for your husband. Intercede. Bless him. If your husband is there, lay your hand upon his head or his shoulder and pray for him. If your wife is there, hold your shoulders and all hug her as your husband, as your wife. The two of you are together. Love. Hold your, hold your wife. Pray for her. Husband, bless your wife. They need it in the name of Jesus. We need it in the name of Jesus. Women are dying for the love of their husband. Bless your wife. Bless your husband in the name of Jesus. Lord, we worship you. We appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Today, you have done what you asked us to do. Father, to all glory, all honor, and adoration to you. Take over the remaining on, O Lord. Let there be signs, let there be testimony, let there be wonders, O Lord, new beginning. As you have said, as you have prayed, as you have interceded in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh my God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm so excited. I'm so full of joy today. When I was preparing the message, one God was beginning to speak to me and Holy Spirit was giving me the message, the instruction. Oh, I know today you will never forget in your life in the name of Jesus, in your marriage, your home, as wife, as true husband, in the name of Jesus. You will not forget what God will do and what God has done in the name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And the people of God say, Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Our husband, God bless you. My husband, I hope you pray for me. In the name of Jesus, God bless you all. Every man, every woman, every husband, every wife, our brothers, our sisters, God bless you. We celebrate God in the name of Jesus. Join us tomorrow, day 12 of this prayer avalanche and our online Sunday service times of refreshing 12 noon Nigerian time on this same platform, praying slash facebook.com. Hallelujah. God bless us all. New beginning in the name of Jesus. As we go forth, New beginning in our marriage, in our husband's life, in our wife's life. You begin to see changes. But God said it's a 360 degree turnaround for our spouses in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm so excited. Just love God. We celebrate you. God bless you. Go forth in the presence of the Almighty God and see you tomorrow in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord.